Welcome to That's Not News. This is the show that looks at the world weird, wacky, wonderful, and today, spacey. Ooh, Ooh, bit of treat for you there. From around the web, David. Go on, mate. Why don't you Go start on. talking? To Think we're thing about the football. Coming up on today's show, we'll be looking at Elon Musk's latest and potentially Ooh. bonkers proposition today. The heroes that emerge from the horrendous Las Vegas attack. And as ever, we'll give you guys the power to put Danielle the Bragoni, aka <laughs> Catch Me Outside Girls, debut and surprisingly massive track into our Hall of Fame or Hall of Shame. You can't pronounce anything, can you? I don't give a shit. Catch Me Outside, how about that? I don't even need to. I don't want to and I don't need to. Our first story was suggested by Thomas Drinkwater on Twitter, who suggested we talk about Elon Musky Musker, who is, of course, the brains behind Tesla and SpaceX. Ooh, or as I know him, Amber Heard's most recent fling, Johnny Depp's sloppy seconds. My vessel is magnificent and fierce and huge-ish. Wow, that's a lovely Tap thought. He burning. hit the front page of nearly every single viral website after revealing his latest product, the BFR, a.k.a. a big fucking rocket. Basically, it's a new airline that can fly you anywhere in the world in under 60 minutes. It is mental. Mental. It's bad enough how much fuel fucking air travel costs. This is on a whole different... Like, yeah, well, this is rocket fuel. This is the most expensive fuel they can stupid. possibly use. It's ridiculous. It's incredible, though. Although, let's just point out that they did shut the Concorde down because... Too expensive. It was too expensive to run, and that could do, what, London to New York in three hours. Four. Four hours. So, equally, I don't really see how Elon's going to fund this project. I think Elon's a fucking nutter and he needs to be shut down because he loves AI. He's been funding it for the last five years and he should be fucking locked up. It's a bit harsh. He is a bit of a nutter. This is the same bloke, by the way, who believes we are living in a simulation and that the reason we're living in that simulation is because aliens are yet to visit us. So Elon is a bit of a nutter, but I personally think it's a great idea. Why? London to Dubai, 22 minutes, Dave. But it's you, not the fucking you underground. Could. It's stupid. You could do yes. it. I'll put, let's put this in the wall of shame. No, let's not put it in the wall of shame. But we will ask you guys whether you would fly in the BFR, which is effectively a missile, by the way. Would you get in this bastard and experience that G-force? <laughs> or would you do a day, bottle it, and take the train? I would get in Take it. The Dave wouldn't. Vote in the poll up there on who you agree with. Next, let's go to the most important part of the show. Yes, it's hashtag fans corner, where each week we give you guys at home the power to review something that has been in the news over the past seven days. Yes, last week we asked you to review Kingsman, the golden circle in the poll, and this was very close. Dave Jackson had already sent it to shame, claiming it was Americanized and I don't want to watch it. That is a great impression. <laughs> but nevertheless, it was a tight one. About three or four votes in it. And as such, you guys sent it to... Yes, it's the Hall of Shame. A whopping 51% agreed with me. And that it looked like an Americanized, bastardized shambles. And sent it to join the iPhone X in the Wall of Shame. I can't believe you've done this. Um, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. What do you mean? Agreeing with David. Seriously. But anyway, this week we're about to drop some lyrics on your ass. How about that girl is back? Cash me outside, Daniele Bagoli, who's been smashing YouTube recently. 22 million views on this in the last seven days. Are you ready, David? Because this is a tune. Hi, bitch. Hi, bitch. I do not sniff it, the roll it. No. It do not jump when I pull it. No. I do not run, I reload no. it. No. I do not save it, I throw it. White Jays, white Porsche, white wrist, white horse. Hi, bitch. Hi, bitch. Hi, bitch. Hi, bitch. As Joe said, this video has already done 22 million views in one week, and our channel has subsequently blown up. But what do you guys think? Are you going to send Bad Barbie to fame or shame? Vote in the poll right now. White wrist, white horse, white Jays. Just stop. Stop. Our viral clip of the week is up next, and it's taken from Soccer AM's YouTube channel from before a game between Fulham and QPR from last weekend. Oh, yes, indeed. This is a piece of skill, and it was spotted by Soccer AM third eye style in the warm-up and involved Stefan Johansson. 
great name. Keeping a piece of chewing gum aloft using just his feet before catching it again in his big fat gob. Look at that, it's immense. Now as immense as this is, it's no Felix Paslak, who once, once upon a time, did this. And it is definitely not as skillful as our good friend, Andrew the Oyster Henderson, who can somehow do this. And finally, we go into our king of the internet. And this week, it's more than one person because we're looking at the heroes from the biggest mass shooting in American history in Las Vegas last week, David. That's right, there are loads of stories from Dan Bilzerian's helping survivors and ferrying people to hospitals to firefighters risking their own lives to shield children. Amazing. But today, we're talking about one specific story amongst the hundreds, and I mean hundreds of tales of incredible bravery. So let's look at Jonathan Smith. He's on screen now. He's a 30-year-old copy machine repairman who is likely to spend the rest of his life with a bullet lodged in his neck after actually being shot during the massacre, Davo. Smith was one of the first to realize it was not fireworks, but instead a gunman warning hundreds that there was an active shooter by shouting and ushering people to safety behind the truck. He then carried his three nieces out of harm's way before being shot in the neck and losing all feeling in his left arm. But that didn't stop him. He went back and saved over 30 more people. So for that reason, Jonathan Smith you are our king of the internet. What a legend. Okay, guys, so that was That's Not News. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Make sure you vote in the poll and let us know what we should review next week using the hashtag, hashtag Corner. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you later. Sayonara. Peace.